Hi everyone, this is Kurt Donahue with Prestatraining.com and today we're going to look at a question that came up in the forum. The question reads, basically, how do I change my shop's featured product section? And if I'm interpreting uh, what was written in this post correctly, the user is adding items to his store and he wants them to get to, he wants them to show up in the featured products area and they're not showing up. So there could be a couple issues with that. So I thought we'd just do a quick little tutorial on the whole featured products area and talk about how to get products in it or change the amount of products that actually show up in the featured products area. So you'll need to have uh, your front office and your back office open. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the front office real quick. So the featured products area in the standard download, and right now uh, this tutorial is being done in version 1.4.0.15, still in the release candidate status, uh, but this is your featured products area. Pretty consistent with uh, almost every earlier version of PrestaShop. So this tutorial won't really be any different if you've got 1.3 or maybe even the earlier versions. I'm only familiar with 1.3 and above. Okay, so uh, in the feature products right now, there are four showing. And there's a reason that there's only four showing, and I'll show you why that is. So let's go to the back office. Go ahead and log into your back office section. And uh, I want you to go to the catalog tab. Now, in the catalog tab, just scroll down a little bit and you'll see products in this category. It says four products in the category of home. Well, this is actually what shows up in your featured products area. So if you want to add products to the featured products area, you must add them to this section. And let me show you what this means. I'm just going to add uh, a quick little product here. We'll call it test one. And I'm not going to fill out any more information than I have to. Um, that might be enough. Now down here you can see the default category. Because I added it in that section, it's going to automatically put it in the home default category. So that's a great place to put stuff that you would like showing up uh, to show up in the home category. Now you don't have to do it there. You can add a cat you can add a product um, just through the standard add a product area, and you can choose to add it into uh, any of these places that you've got shown here. Right now, there's the home category, iPod category, accessory category, and laptops category. I could make this show up in all of them if I wanted to, just by clicking these and saving. Uh, you know, you'd have to go down and be sure that you save this at the bottom here. So um, I'm just going to leave it in the home for now because that's all I want. And then let's give it a quick description. I'm just going to call it test one, test one. Scroll down and I'm not going to worry about tags or anything else like that. I'm going to save it. Okay, now we uh, here we can see that the creation was successful. Scroll down and I do have this product down here called test one. None of this information is filled out because we didn't take the time to do it. But what I want to show you now is let's go back to the home page, click reload or refresh. And now we have another whole section down here in order to incorporate this new test category, test category, or I'm sorry, test product that we have. And let me just show you something else uh, that's going to be very important for you to know. This will require going to the Modules tab. Now the Featured Products section on your home page is actually a module. And uh, the easiest way to find it, if you don't already know where it's at in version 1.4, is just search for it. It's called Featured Products on the home page. So then I'm going to click on here, brings it up, and I'm going to search for it. Now it finds it right away, which is great because there's a lot of modules to search, th uh, search through when you're new. And it's obviously uh, installed, so let's configure it. Okay, now I've already messed around with this a little bit. When I opened this up the first time, this actually had a zero in it. And um, which I'm assuming PrestaShop just sends with it when they ship it out, but it says the number of products displayed on the home page is a default of 10. 
Okay, now I actually played around with this a little bit and I changed it to two. And I hit save. Now let's go back to the home page again. And this is what happened. Okay, and here we've got two items that show up from the modifications that we made in the back office in the module section. So you can set this up to whatever you want. Um, I suppose there's some limit. I'm not sure what the uh, maximum limit of items that you can show in the featured products are, but you've got to be reasonable or your store won't look right. It seems like for most stores uh, that I've seen, usually four to eight work pretty well. When you start getting up to 12, it makes for a pretty long page. If you've got stuff going down the sides of your page um, that will pretty much stay in line with the products you've got, that might be fine. Another thing that would help you is if you moved your featured products up to the top. Now there are lots of reasons to have this home text editor at the top, but uh, a lot of times I don't like to do that. I like to put my products up at the top unless I can have some sort of a compelling message here in the home text editor. Then I'll leave the home text editor at the top and leave the featured products down here, but that's up to you, obviously. So uh, you've already seen that we can change it from, you know, four down to two and, you know, whatever you like, I guess. But what I would do is understand how many products that you want to display. Because they display four wide, I typically go in increments of four. So most of the time I'll go with eight. Um, doesn't It's not really useful to do 10 unless you really want three rows to show up. But realistically, you should have some control over your store. So, you know, do one row, two rows, three rows. I'm uh, going to go with two rows here, and I'm going to click Save again. And then I'm going to go back to the front office one more time and hit Reload. And there we go. So you can have pretty much a maximum of eight, uh, two rows. But if you put in a ninth item in that home, section. And let me show you that one more time. Okay, so you can see that we've got five here right now. So let's go to the back office again, go to catalog one more time. Um, actually, this is going to be easier. Let me, let me just back up here a little bit, just so I don't have to add more modules in. Featured products on the home page. Search. And let's configure that again to four. Okay, so now we have four. Save it. Go back to the front, or I'm sorry, go back to catalog. And now let's scroll down a little bit. So you can see that we do have five items in here though, right? So we've got uh, the Nano, the Shuffle, the MacBook, iPod Touch, and our test. But let's go back to the front office and click reload. But only four of them show up. Now, the reason that only four show up instead of the five that we have in the home uh, category area is because we said that only four can show up in the module. So that's how you can control that. Um, it's a pretty nice way to do it, and you'll just have to decide how many items look best in your store. And obviously, this could change depending on the template that you use, and if you mess around with the CSS and have three or five or whatever uh, amount of items that you have going across. So this is really just a tutorial for the stock press to shop template. So I hope that answers the question and if not please let me know and I'll dig into it a little bit further. Thanks again this is Kurt Donahue with PrestaTraining.com.